Welcome back to Better You. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson, and today I'm here with my co-host, Hafiz Stokes. Thank you for having me again. Well, Hafiz, looks like we have a special guest with us here with us today. And who might that be? It is Chef Jay. And Chef Jay, you're from? Chateau Noir. Chateau Noir. Yes. And so, Chef Jay, what are you going to do for us today? Today I'm going to put together a uh, really quick and simple meal for you. Uh, we're going to start off with a salad. Um, we have a caramelized red onion salad with baby spinach. And I'm just going to show you how to make your own vinaigrette. Okay. Um, so you can make it anytime you want. Add any ingredients that you want in there. Since you cook all the time at home, they'll be easy for you. Um, and then we. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chef Jay, so, we talked about that. Yes, early. we did. Yes, we I did. I do the three Ds. Okay. Delivery, dine in, drive through. Okay. Well, we'll change that because this is going to be easy, uh, and you're okay. going to say, "I want to make this at home all the time." Okay. Then we have. Uh, we're going to go into a curry and coconut poached tilapia. Um, you can use any type of fish for this. Um, poaching is really good because it really slowly cooks the food. It doesn't, it's not really high heat. Uh -huh. um, and you can add, again, all of these things are things that you can add different flavors uh -huh. in, whatever you want. See, you got the tilapia sliced real nice. Yes, yeah, yeah we, I cut it in half. Um, they were pretty big sized tilapia pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I sliced them in half so that way, you know, you can not have too much uh -huh. and go always go back for more if you want ah. and you'll want to go back for more we will and then the last item is it's summertime um we have nice strawberries they're in season now mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a nice light strawberry mousse um Ooh. and that's going to finish mm. off our meal and just kind of tie everything together so we're not overly full and we're good and this is something i can do you can do this anybody can do this can hafiz do it i yeah, i know he can do it we're going okay, to see. We're, we're going to pay attention. See. Yes, we are. Okay. We are. We're and I'll see. let you t take over on some parts. Uh, I'll just tell you what you need to do. Okay. And then we'll make sure it gets done the right way. Well, I don't All know right. about y'all, but I'm ready. The first thing you're going to need to do with poaching is you're going to get your poaching liquid together. Uh -huh. um, anything mm -hmm. that goes into your poaching liquid is going to obviously go right into your fish. Okay, or your chicken. You can do this with fish. You can do this with chicken. If you thinly slice beef, you can uh -huh. do it with beef. Um, anything you want, shrimp. So in our poaching liquid today, we have a curry and coconut poaching liquid. We have heavy cream. Uh huh. You can use half and half. You can use any type of um, cream that you want to use. Um, any type of milk that you want to use. We have co uh, curry powder. Now curry powder. This one I made myself. Now you oh. can make your own curry powders. You can buy them from the store. I like to do it because some people like heat. You know, people think curry, they think, oh man, it's gonna be really hot. Uh -huh. um, when you taste this, it's not really hot, okay. but there are some smoky components to it um, that whatever you wanna make your curry powder out to be, you can do that. Okay. You know, and it's real simple. Um, you know, coffee grinders that mm -hmm. grind coffee beans. Right, okay. You can put all your mm -hmm. items in there and grind them up and they'll come into a nice mm -hmm. powder. Um, I also have some uh, red peppers that are thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. I have some orange peppers. Mm -hmm. I have yellow peppers. Mm -hmm. I have parsley and that's going to be for our garnish. I also have some baby carrots here. Mm -hmm. And I have some minced dried onions. Okay, so these are good ah. because they stand up to the slow temperatures as opposed to regular onions where uh -huh. they might not cook down in enough time where you have that really raw, bitter onion. Now, are those taste. chopped onions? They are. They're dried okay, onions. Dry. You can buy dried minced onions. You can oh, buy yeah. dried chopped onions. And okay. they're, you know, any grocery store has this stuff. That's the, That's oh. the other thing. That's as small as a chop. You can Yes, get exactly. Right and there. I didn't have to do it, so it was even easier. Oh. <laughs> um, so, there yeah, you go. can get that type of stuff any in any store. Uh -huh. um, just to go over here real quick, so I'm going to start with this. Um, oh, and the other thing is um, coconut milk and um, uh, coconut water. This is actually coconut water. This has little pieces of, co can you see the little pieces of coconut? Ooh, in yeah. yeah, so that gives you another little texture in yeah. your food, you know, because you'll find with poaching, since it's slow, long heat, everything gets really soft uh -huh. and it's really good, but it's not baby food. Um, so coming over here, I'm gonna do this first because this is the easiest and we want this to all come together. Okay. Um, we have baby spinach. Mm -hmm. All right, and these are baby spinach leaves. You can, they're perfectly good. You can eat them that way. They're wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love spinach. We also have a vinaigrette. Now, a vinaigrette for a homemade vinaigrette is three to one. Three parts of what? Come on, you know. 
Vinegar? Oil. Oil. <laughs> I was, told you. you had a 50 50 <laughs> shot there. So, <laughs> yeah. three parts oil, one part vinegar. Okay. Um, because we have this salad, and with this salad, you, you want something that's light, you want something that's refreshing. Uh -huh. You could even add, cut up some strawberries and put it in there. You can put in raspberries. Oh. You can add other flavor components to your um, vinaigrette. And the beauty of it is, if you get one of these, this uh -huh. is a mason jar, mm -hmm. um, and you can get these. Anywhere. 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 Yeah. You, I've seen you've them. seen these. And you can make homemade vinaigrettes. You can make um, your own mayonnaise. You can make your own anything, dressings, uh -huh. any type of dressings you want. And it's there. Because as you know, when you utilize um, oil and vinegar, or you look at like an Italian dressing or something like that, it separates. Right. So now oh, it's already okay. made. All you have to do <laughs> is just grab it out of your fridge, shake it, mm. and you're ready to go. Okay? So I'm going to let you do this part. Okay. Take that. I think I can handle that. You think you can? Yeah. You want to, this is, smell that. Tell me what that is. Vinegar. Yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. apple cider vinegar, okay? So does it matter what type of vinegar you, you can, use? Like I say, you can use red wine vinegar, the champagne vinegar. There are tons of different types of vinegars out there. Uh -huh. For this one, because I wanted to balance that spinach flavor, because, uh -huh. you know, spinach is, is kind of a bitter right. itself, you know, if you just eat it the way it is, um, it's kind of bitter. What's gonna happen is that the vinegar mixed with the oil, mixed with the onions is gonna give it a really good oh. flavor. So just pour it's maybe one, yeah, <laughs> one, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even, not even a, uh, keep going, I'll tell you when. Oh, perfect, that's good. Okay. Nothing else, put that down. That's all we need. That's all we need. Now, this is oil. And what and kind of oil is that? I was about to say, this is a blended oil. So it's an oil blended. It's 50% extra virgin olive oil and 50% regular oil, canola uh -huh. oil. Okay. Some people swear that, oh, you have to use all olive oil right. or something else. Sometimes it's too rich for people. They don't really want it. So you want to, here, this is all you. Okay. You're going to tell me when? Yep. Keep going. You got you to put a lot in there. Nope. Tip it, til keep it tilted that way because then it'll come out. Keep going. So I'm learning something today. You are. I am myself. So now you want you want three parts. So when that gets, and if you notice, what do you notice as you're holding that up? It's the vine. Yeah, it's exactly it's right. Already. It's separating already. Like the oil and vinegar. Yeah, like exactly right. So what's gonna happen is when you actually do this, you are going to, when you shake it up, uh -huh. it's gonna bind it together, okay? Okay, is that good? Um, a little more, perfect. Now you want to put your top on. Oh, this? Yep. We're not going to add anything We're else? We're not going to add anything else to this. See, the, the thing with dressings is the same thing with pizza, is the same thing with pasta. Uh -huh. You don't mm -hmm. want a whole lot of dressing on it. Mm -hmm. You want something to complement the flavors that are there. You don't want something to overpower it. So you want something real simple. Shake it up. Shake, that's shake, it. shake, shake, shake. That's it? <laughs> that's it. So that's the salad dressing. Th this, is, oh. this is your, now you could add in salt and pepper in here. Uh -huh. You can add in whatever you want in here and add more flavor components. Now, what's going to happen is you want these things to marry together. Uh -huh. You want to throw it in your refrigerator at least an hour just to kind of let it all set up. It is going to separate again, but just shake, just it, shake up. it up shake and you're ready to go. And if you wanted Ooh. to add other things in there, you can, like I say, if you had um, toasted Walnuts you could put in there. Ooh. I mean toasted almonds you could put in there. You could put in some fruit in there, some uh -huh. raspberry, some cranberries, or whatever the case may be. Um, during the holiday times, I like to make a cranberry vinaigrette for everything, you know. And you have all the leftovers, so you can kind of mm -hmm. do that. So we're going to put this to the side. What's going to happen with this is we are going to put that on our salad, and we're going to dress it with our caramelized red onions. Uh -huh. Now, why did I caramelize the red onions? Because, now I told you, I do delivery. Y yes, you <laughs> do. Drive through. But what, <laughs> just tell me what the difference between, you know the difference between cooked onions and raw onions. Right. Cooked onions taste a little sweeter. That's true, yeah. They're a little better, uh -huh. you know, as far as just being able, more palatable, uh -huh. okay? So I caramelize these red onions, because red onions are really strong to begin with. Uh -huh. But mm. if you smell them, they don't no, you smell. you don't really have a scent. They're not yeah, like, strong. exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. again, the other reason I didn't add salt and pepper, I'm not a big salt fan. I'm not, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people that are 
high blood pressure and everything right. else like that. They don't like a lot of salt. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. That's why I didn't add any salt and pepper here. Okay. Because everything in a meal is layering flavors and right. balancing flavors. If I put salt here, salt here, salt here, yeah. at the end much. result is going to be too much salt. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So right now, this is already done, and we're just going to let this sit there for okay. a little bit. And we're going to come over here. Mm. All right? Our pan is nice and hot. We are going to <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get started on our um, our poaching of our tilapia. Okay. Now, like I said, we can use any fish. As you can see, I cut the tilapia in half. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a really nice looking fish, um, and tilapia holds up well to a lot of different types of cooking, frying, um, baking, just everything. But poaching, I find, really brings a lot of flavors in there. Uh -huh. So, why don't you come over? Okay, Hafiz. All right. And let's start off with the um, the cream. Okay. Let's just pour that in there. Be careful because the pan is hot. And what kind of cream was this again? Just heavy cream. Okay. No, Any type of heavy cream. You can use light cream. You can use half and half, whatever uh -huh. you want to do. Let me just pour it on. Um, no, pour it right pour in. Pour it in. Okay. Yep. Here we go. It's going to be a little sizzle. Here's a little sizzle. I'm going to take my time. Go, go closer to the pan. Ooh. Closer to the pan. Being, like I said before, it's low heat okay mm -hmm. so if you can see our heat it's really low uh -huh. um you don't want it to come to a boil you don't want it to be a rolling boil you want it to be like these light bubbles that are around mm -hmm. that, that's beautiful that's perfect yeah so what you're going to do now is you are going to take your curry and you're going to put some curry in there and you're going to whisk it in not all whisk of it in. half of half of what's in there just half of what's in uh -huh. here that's okay. a lot you yeah, don't it think seems like it that's good. You That's good. are okay, good. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I'm um, stirring. Yes, just stir. Kind of like if you use if you use the side of the whisk like this. Oh, okay. Then you can get it all. Get it all mixed okay. in. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm get really nice I'm really that. cooking here. See, break up those little lumps. Yeah, need the little lumps in there. It's perfect. Yeah. It's starting to make a nice little mixture going on here. Yes. Now, kind of put your face closer to it and smell it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How does it, does, do you get the curry smell? Yeah. I can smell yeah, it. You it does. can yeah. smell it from here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. see? So you got the curry smell. Mm -hmm. Now you see it's starting to boil a little more, so we're just yeah. going to turn this down just a little more. And when, you know, when you're at home, you have the nice little words on the thing, medium high and everything else like that, mm -hmm. so it's beautiful. Okay, that's actually perfect. You did a great job. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add in our fish. So let's put in all four pieces of fish. Would Me? you like to go right ahead? Okay. <laughs> you're going to show everyone that I can cook. Yes. So yeah, in a particular just, way you lay um, it? Just so that all four of them can fit in there. So the same way they're in here, same way in there. Make room for your friend. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. Showman. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is let's just make sure that we get our fish covered nicely. Uh -huh. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add in some of our coconut, coconut water. Water. Coconut water. Yes. You know, I've heard a lot of people talk about coconut water. It's, very and tasty. it's supposed to be very good for it you. It is. That's good. Yeah. A little more. Just just a little more. Perfect. Yeah, that's the way they do it on the cooking show. There you go. All yes. <laughs> Make sure you get it all around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have two options here. The uh -huh. first option is, depending upon how you like your vegetables, some people like them crunchy, some people like them soft. Um, you pretty much make the call. You know how long it's going to take. As you can see, I thinly slice these, so they're not really going to take that long, right. and they're perfectly good the way they are now. Um, they're actually sweet and good. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what you can do is you can add it in now, uh -huh. okay? So what we'll do is you come over here. I want right. you in there too. Sorry. Okay. No, nope, don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Now just add each one of those items in there. Okay. Your red peppers. We'll start. With you the can top. start any way you want. Yep. Okay. The yellow right. peppers. Yellow they're peppers. a lot sweeter, aren't they? Yes, they are sweet. So we'll start with sweet. Mm-hmm. Kind of just. Yeah. Make sure out. they get all over. Good. All right. Now do our red. 
the red peppers mm -hmm. got a little kick to them, huh? Those aren't actually hot red peppers. Oh, they're not? They're mild, they're, they're bell peppers. Oh. oh Orange? That is Orange. Right. Got a little color scheme. You going guys in. are good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know. And some carrots. carrots. So tell me, Chef Jay, why do you think cooking has become so popular all of a sudden? You see all these shows with chefs and the reality shows too. Yes. Why do you think it's become so popular? Um, I think it's because a lot of people, more people, instead of going out to eat, are cooking at home. Uh huh. And they realize that you know. If we show people that you can do these things at home or we show people how to cook, uh -huh. then you'll be easier to work, eat, eat at home. You know, you have 30 minute meals, uh -huh. you have, you know, these shows that show you how to make a meal for your family and uh -huh. everything else like that. So it's, it's really more um, a society thing. You know, ah. it's, it's, it's just yeah. easier to see somebody on TV doing something. Uh -huh. You know, you see, we talked about Rachel Ray, uh -huh. and, you know, these other people, Paula Dean, and, mm -hmm. you know, they're not, they're not, you know, the typical chef, what you would right. consider be. And you said, oh, that person's just like me, cooking mm -hmm. at home. And now, a lot of people aren't going out to restaurants and spending $40, I know, and as, and as we sit here now, and I know you're the expert, and then you just yeah, be physically doing this. this. I feel like I, I kind of know I have some idea what I'm doing. You do, <laughs> I, and you really do. And just, as, and just as we're doing it here, if you're at home, you can do the same thing. Definitely. The only thing, the, the only thing that makes cooking difficult is not having the ingredients that you need. Uh -huh. If you have what you need, and you know how to put it together, it's real simple, real simple. Now we just want a little bit of this. We don't want all of it. These like are, a pinch? This is our onion, yeah, a little more than a pinch. Do I dump yeah, it Yeah, go in? right ahead. Make it real spicy. Good? That's a little more, a little more. Okay, that's perfect. Ah. Okay, so pretty much that is everything. Um, ah. What'll happen now is that it's not smell the little mm -hmm. yeah, you should, everything coming together, uh -huh. conglomerating, exactly. conglomerating exactly together. Exactly right. And I lost my spoon. I think it's over there. Um, Can we use this? Sure, we could. Yeah, go right ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm in control now. I'm just, I'm just here. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. We want to just kind of smooth everything out. Try not to break up your fish. There you go. That's oh. perfect. Now, what will happen here is that in about seven minutes this will be cooked this will be ready to eat and we'll be able to plate it up and show you how it is i made some um saffron rice uh -huh. um saffron good too. is uh good thank you saffron you is an expensive um spice it's like one of the most expensive spices in the world uh -huh. mm. but it gives everything that really good fragrance it gives everything yeah. that nice you know uh yellow color um, you can buy saffron powder. You can mm -hmm. buy the, um, they, they call them stamens that come out of the crocus flower. Mm -hmm. um, so what will happen is you just take that, you add a little bit into your liquid that you're using for your rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you let it boil because it has to steep a little to release its color and its essence into mm -hmm. the water. And then you add your rice in and you have your saffron rice. I wanted wow. to ask you, yes. before you even started cooking, does it matter what type of pan we use for this? Not at all. Oh, it doesn't? Good. Not at all. Because what's going to happen is the only thing you have to worry about is that the pan is big enough to fit your fish in. So you could do whatever. this in a wok? Yes, you can. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. You can do mm. it in any pan that you have um, as long as you're able to make sure that if you notice the fish is covered, uh -huh. mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's all that matters. You know, woks are great. I love woks. They're really, they're really good. Yeah, they have those in Chinese restaurants. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Every now and again, I, yeah. Um, so that's everything for that. Um, take this. It's it is. It's, it's ready, ready to, to go. Out. Yep, it's, it's ready. ready to come on out. <laughs> you know, I've noticed at a lot of places because I do dine in. Yes. They're serving a lot of tilapia. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Um, it's it's. It's a cost-effective fish oh. that's versatile. Okay. You know, um, whereas before people might have, you know, done the salmon or mm -hmm. anything else like that, but tilapia is more of a cost-effective um, white fish. Okay. Um, you know, there's other things that you could use, but for restaurants to stay in business and keep the cost down, mm -hmm. they utilize fish that are, mm. you know, something that's that's going to be 
when you get the bill, you don't go, oh my goodness, are you serious? It's fish, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's, that's, that's pretty much what it boils down to. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our rice, mm -hmm. and you could do this. Now, uh, people call me a plating snob, but it's only because I like the way the visual appeal mm -hmm. of any meal is beforehand. You have to, it has to look good before it tastes good. That's true. It has to look good before it tastes good. If it doesn't look good, then... You're not going to eat it. And if you do, you'll be like, mm, this isn't really easy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, it's, just, it's just the way things are. So with that said, I need to... Normally in a restaurant or anything else like that, we have little ring molds mm -hmm. where we can make everything look nice, nice. But if you're at home, you can do it this way. You can't see. This is all about being able uh -huh. to do it at home. Yes. So I'll be able to fix this at home and impress my friend. You will. <laughs> just let us May know. When, just let us know when dinner is. <laughs> okay. So we have our rice. Uh huh. And you just want to make sure it's packed in there, nice and tight. Because then that way, when it comes out, it doesn't fall all over. And well, that's how they do this in the restaurant. Yes. Sure. Well, normally we have, like I say, we have a ring mold. Ooh. Yeah. See. Okay. Is it, oh, that does look good. Looks it already. The plate yeah. has taken a new shape. Mm -hmm. So we take a piece of our fish. And we just want. Take that. Ooh. Put it like that. Now it's going to slide down a little, but that's fine. Then I want some of this sauce. All right, yeah. now. Hook Let me it put up. Put that around the outside. You want some sauce on the plate. You want to make sure you get some of those peppers all over everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just how to. That looks you know, really good. Was that hard? Dish, I was about to say. See, now that's that's simple and easy and something that you can do, like I say, at home. You want to get a little parsley for garnish. Mm -hmm. To dress it up. Put that right there. If you had chopped parsley, you could chop have it chopped up and all around. This is like Wow. We just did this right here. Right there. Right there. Yeah. And that's ready to go. And you could make it, you know, as elaborate as you want to. If you wanted to add some asparagus on the side, you could do that. But all your vegetables and everything are right in the um, in the in your oh. poaching liquid. Your rice is there, mm -hmm. and you're good. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you very much for this having me. This was really good. And you know what? We're gonna eat some more hot. <laughs> there you go. That. Yes. <laughs> yeah, There's yeah. plenty for you to enjoy. Thank yeah, you very definitely. much for having thank me. Thank you for coming. I'm definitely. Back. Sir, are you okay? Everything's fine. Thanks. You wouldn't ignore this, so why ignore the signs of a stroke? Call 911 immediately, because time lost is brain lost. Thank you for joining us today. Chef Jay Hafiz and I had a wonderful time preparing this poached tilapia. But tune in next week when we prepare strawberry mousse and a lovely salad. Make sure you join us. You don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm.